Alright, how's everybody doing? This is Luke the Duke, and we are once again checking out a ship that is available on the workshop. This ship is called the Anubis MK2, and this is a very formidable ship, you guys. It has a couple different roles, uh, mostly exploration. It isn't the most heavy class fighter. It is a majority of light armor, a small amount of heavy armor in there, of course, with some, some cool modded turrets right here. So, uh, definitely... Definitely a good addition here. As you can see, the skybox just looks beautiful, my friends. It just looks incredible. So this is actually a modeled ship that is from Star Citizen. I will uh, put a picture of it right here so you guys can see the comparison. A very, very cool looking ship, you guys. Um, it's a very nice angle design. I like the, the light blue color. So we're going to head off to the cockpit. We're going to check out the inside of this beast. As you can see, we have an armored cockpit door right here. So this is going to be a world, you guys. It's not going to be a, um, a blueprint. There are a couple mods that come into play here. So there's one like the Colt console block mod. And there's some other ones that are just to spice things up a little bit. So you can see some modded console blocks and uh, some like an armo armo ammo container. So you got some guns, you got some ammo, you got uh, some more guns. Also, these cool little suit rooms, so it comes with a, a nice little locker, a nice little suit, so you can um, you can change your, your suit color and stuff. You cannot uh, refill your your um, energy or your, your hydrogen through these things. You'll have to use the actual medical bay to do that. So let's enter into the main room here. As you can see, you guys, it's just... Why, why you gotta do that? <laughs> Getting out of here. So as you can see, you guys, a bunch of cool... Um, like art, um, some artwork, some LED signs, just to give it a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a home feel. As you can see, the the med center right here. So obviously, there's going to be some medical rooms in there. The reactor control room. So there's going to be some reactors in there. Obviously, I'm I'm just a genius, you guys. I just just <laughs> just a perfect uh, walkthrough right now. The inside. Uh, the inside compartments and the, the sort of uh, the layout of this place is pretty advanced, pretty significant. As you can see, we got a bunch of these cryogenic chambers that are a little bit different than the other ones. You can see there's some like white, so you're actually like frozen in this thing, like Walt Disney or something. <laughs> in case you guys know, Walt Disney is frozen still to this day. Just letting you know. And here is the main cockpit room, you guys. So, so impressive. So this is a sort of a table HUD display setup. Um, there isn't, there isn't any, oh, Sultan thinks I'm ignoring him. Sorry, Sultan, I'm, I'm doing a showcase. Uh, there isn't, uh, this is just pretty much for looks. There, there actually, there is a couple mods that are on the workshop right now that have sort of a, a 3D LED kind of map. Um, view, but this is not one of the ones. This is just sort of a uh, just to look cool a bunch of these modded cockpit blocks And uh, we play on fountain core this online server that has these same um, Little blocks here So as you can see you guys a very very sexy looking ship and I, I look at a lot of ships on the workshop you guys and pretty much the way you catch my eye with these ships is just the the thumbnail and this this ship just had a beautiful looking thumbnail you guys look at this chair so it's just so, so incredible, the mods that people make. I mean, look at this chair, you guys. That's a sexy looking chair. I'm not gonna lie. You can see a beautiful utilization of the front cockpit block with an enclosed glass sort of feature. So you can see out of this very well. You can also see um, sort of like this. In instead of using your crosshair, you can just use this thing. And it actually works out quite well, you guys. So we'll check that out in a little bit. As you can see, we have some stats up here for the different... Uh, your different defenses all the turrets are off at the moment you also have a gps coordinate so you can see how far you w how far away you are from your current destination let's say we want to go to that moon over there by the sun so as you can see a very very roomy hangar um hangar room so you could build some stuff in here and then fly it out using this hangar door block right here and to open this you will need to use one of these things here See, it's actually sort of hard to see that. The hangar door, beautiful. Cool this looks, I can't even <laughs> get over it. The, the thruster bays on this thing, how they have a, sort of a spiked, angled um, front right here. It looks really cool. 
And they also have these these modded thrusters that they have on Fountain Core too. Uh, these they're a little bit better than um, the regular ion thrusters. They have a different sound too. A very soothing sound in my opinion. I will say that it can defend itself and uh, the way it's built and um, the amount of armor that's used in it. It is quite effective, so it works quite well, but it, it's it's not it's not really a fighter, I would say. It's more of an exploration type ship, but it's definitely capable of defending itself. So you can see here, um, a nice control room so you could, uh, maybe if you were manning all the drones coming out of here and you want to connect things to connect or disconnect them and then open up the hangar hangar door block while people are working in here you would sort of be like the maintenance person in this room and a bunch of summary LCD the the uh, the configurable LCD um, script are all on all these little LCD panels and it comes in very 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 helpful you guys especially when it comes to the ammo and these things because uh, it's a lot easier when you're looking in when you're sitting in a cockpit and um, what is this? Airlock. Oh, when you're sitting in a cockpit and um, you can see everything that's just like right in front of your face. You don't have to look on your HUD. You don't have to go into the inventory and look at the control panel or do anything like that. You can just look at these LCD panels all across your ship. So yeah, guys, just an incredible amount of detail packed into this thing. Incredible. I'm not sure what these things are. Let's let's take out our let's take out our welder. See what these are. Not sure. Medium reactor. These are reactors. Wow. That's a very interesting looking reactor, you guys. Looks like they have a conveyor system down here. Because obviously you're going to need to put uranium inside this thing. Oh, medium reactor. A very, very cool utilization of these new, uh, these modded reactors. Definitely a cool sort of room. So you can walk through the reactors and look at your different stats. And Let's check out Med Setter. Why not? This is where if you if you hurt yourself, you need uh, the the on-call doctor for the ship to be helping you out. This is where you'd go. God, look at that view, you guys. Beautiful view. Oh my god, it's just the coolest fucking ship, you guys. Look at all this stuff. Now, these are really cool, you guys. Like the live-action LCD displays where it has like live-action animate. Live-action. Uh, live animations. I guess live action would not be um, animated. It'd probably be an actual person up there showing their vital signs. So yeah, you got get a vent in here. Um, obviously, you're gonna need some medical rooms, and you know, just just sit here. The there's it's a very cool ship, you guys, because they they took in everything into consideration. Because if there were to be one medical doctor on call, obviously you're gonna need one console cockpit block so they can you know be pressing the buttons, checking out your medical history or something like that. Very, very cool. The E.E. E. Agus table ceiling. What am I doing? All right, beautiful, you guys. So uh, we took a little bit of damage, but I'd like to point out that most of the damage that we got was from me actually accidentally ramming into that ship. So yeah, it's it's definitely it it's to be expected if you run into a ship at like 
20 meters per second, you're gonna do a fair amount of damage. But here's the Anubis, you guys. We're still gonna go to the moon, but I thought we'd show you guys that really fast. So yeah, a, a pretty a pretty significant defense system, so a little bit more than I was expecting. The Anubis, the MK2 Anubis, made by Mr. Bubbles, weighing in at 7.5 million kilograms, with 177 thrusters, 85 gyroscopes, and of course, 18 batteries. And 8 landing gears as well. So as you can see, it's good on the moon, you guys. We are extremely good on the moon. And look at this. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of you guys, like those, those rides at like theme parks. Where it's like this giant like TV in front of you and you're like sitting in like some weird chair and you're like floating and wind is blowing in your face and shit and I forget what you'd call those, like those virtual reality like rides, I guess. <laughs> this looks pretty cool though. You're just ready to like jump out and just like parachute down. Just leave the whole Anubis to be destroyed. Very cool, like I feel like I should be dangled at my feet right now. I'm, I'm dangling my feet in real life right now just to sort of to sort of accommodate for it so we're good on the moon this episode is nearing a close but before we are actually gonna leave you guys we're gonna be testing out this ship on the earth type planet so you know if this ship does work on the earth type planet holy shit this is gonna be one of the coolest Atmo landers I've seen in a long time I will be dangling my feet in space hello Look at those little feet. Look at those cute little feet down there. Alright my friends, this is the Anubis by Mr. Bibbles. And don't fuck around with it because it is indeed a atmospheric lander. As you can see, we are approaching down to the planet and we are losing speed. So, we're good you guys. I did not think at first that this was going to be capable of actually landing down onto Earth. But it seems it is. And I'm just... Kicking my feet, kicking my feet. <laughs> God, this would be so scary, you guys. Just, just Earth, just fucking miles to the ground. So this thing is so quick, man. Beautiful. I love this ship, you guys. Look how fast we're going. Oh my God. Just look down here. <laughs> I'm my feet. You just like, could you imagine losing both your feet to a tree or something? We're gonna fly right over this. Oh, whoops. Again, this is Luke the Duke. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and check out this ship on the Steam Workshop page. Um, we are working on the survival episode. I've been working on it for the past couple days. Uh, Demolish the server admin has actually just added in Thorium. So we're gonna be up to some of our usual shenanigans on Fountain Core. It's gonna be a lot of fun, you guys. I know that. We all know that. So, once again, you guys, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Make sure to check out my survival episodes when they come out in the near future. And once again, you guys, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. This is Luke the Duke. And good night. And good luck. We're crash landing now. No, we're not going to crash land, you guys. We're going to try to do some cool ass aerodynamics are you ready for this are you ready for this are you who am I talking to I don't know I'm talking to you guys I know that oh here we go this thing is it's so heavy <laughs> my feet <laughs> look at that tree Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Turn it. Turn it. There we go. Oh, the episode's not over yet, you guys. It's not over yet. Okay, pull up. I'm barely gonna be able to make this. I'm smashing on the space bar right now, you guys. Just smashing. Oh, we're barely gonna make it. My feet. My feet. <laughs> Uh, oh no! What the fuck was that? What the fuck? I can't. 
I guess we're leaving the planet now. That was weird as hell. That was a powerful tree, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> 